Whopper. So most people vlog about nothing. So that's exactly what this is going to be. And that's uh, happy dad ever heard of it. Yeah. She just made some Philly cheese steak. We're gonna eat it later. Then I'm gonna do an episode of It's Nothing podcast, episode two. Ole, 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 ole. I'm showing it all late, but it is. Ology Brewing Company. Ole, ole, ole. Pale ale. But uh, imagine, in real shit, imagine being 37 plus years old <clears throat> and never, truthfully, never even being comfortable enough to watch like a jail show like um, Oz, The Real World, Road Rules, or, nah, or 50. Not even Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, Orange is the New Black. I, tr I I tried to watch Orange is the New Black. I watched maybe half of the season, and it just wasn't it for me, man. It freaked me out a little bit too much, man. I'm not about that culture. I'm not about that life. And, oh, man, it's so good. Now, that's one delicious pale ale. But over 37 years old, never spending a night in county never spending a night in prison, never having a run in with the law, never really being fucked up in the game, keeping your nose clean your entire life, right? But you take a career job, literally a job in correction. That's what your boy did. I give first and foremost, and truthfully, that's what I'm going to say right now. I give nothing more than respect to people that work in corrections just for the fact that that's what they do that was their career path and that's what they chose to do in their career but literally it's one of those things where you have to be born with it so i had a great opportunity to be a correctional officer for a county here in um crawfordville florida and i took the job i ain't gonna lie benefits on point money pay on point but I didn't look at the caveats of how it changes you. I looked at it as a great opportunity. And but, 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 but you either born with it or you not. If you have a personality like me, it's not the job for you at all. Like it is a like it's it's pretty fucking intense and pretty crazy and my thing is i'm i'm pretty much a tactical ass motherfucker like i keep a at least one to two guns on me throughout the day a knife and whatever whatever but it ain't about that it's a whole different level of security like i said imagine not watching jail shows because they make you feel uncomfortable not knowing that you've never been locked up you've never like spent an overnight or anything or even been locked up in general never been cuffed up never had to go to county never had never been to prison and that type shit but then you literally choose a career path to where you're locking yourself in with psychopaths serial killers mass murderers transgender oh that's what I was dealing with. I went in to a job thinking that it was all sweet. It was all easy. It was a, like I thought it was something that I could do. Ultimately, it was something that I absolutely couldn't do. I don't feel like a pussy anyway as far as like just saying like, nah, can't do it. As far as corrections is you have to have a shut off type of uh, mentality and personality. Like I'm one of those people to bear the way truthfully like I don't play around a lot. It's funny. A lot of people from this YouTube shit think that I'm like some goofy ass just playing around all the time. But like the way I am, I'm super serious. And I was truthfully, I was just trying to like play around a lot in like normal life. And um, there every single day of your work is going to be but there's there's no positive in it at all there's only negative you're locked in and that's another crazy part about it and i think i may have already touched on it before but it's like instead of going to work you're getting scanned up patted down to make sure you're not bringing in contraband you can't have your phone on you i, I, I don't give a fuck about having my phone on me at all times i can go hours and hours without checking my phone type shit but emergencies you know what i'm saying when you have a family and whatnot that aside from just like the the amount of just 
the job is literally hazardous. It's a hazardous job. Like when you you know when they when they talk about essential workers, this job is the most essential working job that you are ever going to work, and that's the reason why I give them nothing but respect. And y'all already know I respect police officers in general, but they don't close down. What people don't understand is like you you look at a job as a job. You look at it as a thing that you that you're producing something. This thing is it's a whole nother world, and this is another crazy thing that i will put out right now because this 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 is the funny part about have you ever went to disney world uh six flags disneyland or anything like that and you step into a place and when as soon as you go through those gates you scan your ticket and you go through those gates you feel like bet it's it's a it's a whole different world of possibilities this seems different from the regular world that's how it is when you enter a compound it's so different the first time that i entered the compound the main the main the main the main compound right because the the way it is they have it over there they have the main and then they have the annex and from my understanding the annex is going to be like uh oh the annex is going to be either an add-on or like uh pretty much it's just going to be an add-on i don't know if they renovated it or whatever but it's like an add-on to it the main of it and it was just an open yard dorms all around the side cool got a visit got to visit all the dorms around the side saw some sketchy kind of intimidating things to a lot of people but it didn't really intimidate me like that just people living their life behind the walls. I looked at it for what it was. I'm like, eh, respect is respect. And truthfully, if you're respectful towards the next man, you're going to win. You know what I'm saying? As long as you ain't disrespecting anybody, you good. Cool with that, whatever, whatever. I thought that the annex was going to be super fire just easy because it's a smaller facility i thought it was going to be nicer and it was nice but i went to the psych war portion of it and when i went to the psych war portion of the annex i saw people in those they're like pods the, the shit's locked they have a chain over it and a lock on each one and each door is like conjoined by each one but when you do a count and i did a count and as I walked around, I think it was about 78, close to 80 people that I counted. They're not used to seeing people and they're not used to seeing new people. But just in seeing every single person and going through these pods and looking in that little small slit of a glass window. And some of them, they like jump up and they look at you like this. They're trying to intimidate you. Some of them are spitting on the wall. Some of them, you look behind them, you see blood and weird shit behind. Some of them, you see uh, just them, just, I'll put it this way. Every single one of them have one thing in common, and that is they don't have a soul. Granted, it was a psych ward, but that was the first time that I've ever looked into a man's eyes that didn't have a soul. Like, you can watch, like, serial killer videos on youtube and all this shit documentaries but the first time that you literally go to a imagine going to a hotel the way like you cooling you on vacation type shit you normal you got a family you got a daughter you like just doing your shit you got a youtube channel but then you're looking into the eyes of people one after another that have absolutely no soul yo you ain't staying at that hotel no more it was nuts it's a thing that i couldn't deal with i ain't gonna lie i thought that i was going to be the model um what do you call it um shit correctional officer and this that and the other until that happened they are that crazy so they deserve it but how much how much do you value value your life I literally lived for around a month and a half to where I could do this shit. Dead ass. Even after that night, I was like, man, I could do this shit. I could do this shit. But had a dream or two. Could have been God talking to me, but had a dream or two. But then I really thought about it and I started thinking about things differently. This career path is not for everybody. Real shit. It's not for everybody. A great career path. The money's good. The benefits are good. However, I put it this way. Damn, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. My personality does not work with that type of environment. So I had to get myself out of there. And that's the reason why I did 
get myself out of there. They're scum of the earth, real shit. I ain't gonna lie. They're scum of the earth. They committed some type of crime and some of them are in there and were falsely accused. Right, fun. You're not gonna get that in the Department of Corrections for the fact that every single day when you clock in, there's no good. There's only bad people. There's only bad situations. And you're there just there to babysit. Imagine babysitting a kid or kids or being a kindergarten teacher. Kids asking questions that they already know the answers to. But then switch those kids out with adults. Grown men asking the same questions that stupid little kids will ask. Questions that they know that they're not, the shit that they're not supposed to do, right? Can't punch them in the face, but at the same time, kind of don't want to punch them in the face because you're outnumbered. Imagine working in a kindergarten class with 30, 25 year olds up to 60 year olds, and all of them are murderers. And that's at the least. Truthfully, I'll put it this way at the very least, it's niggas that rob shit niggas that extort but truthfully that wasn't even them niggas if you keep your nose clean this ain't the job for you i'm gonna have another video that i'm gonna do about this shit and i'm gonna kind of be more so on point with it i drank a bottle of wine tonight me like my wife made cheese steaks and they were out of this world you know what i mean and that's the reason why i'm kind of off like i'm kind of bloated kind of full but i hope y'all enjoyed this video real shit if you are thinking about jumping into corrections, and I know that it's a ep not an epidemic, but I know that it's a problem throughout the entire United States. There's a, a there's a shortage as far as uh, correctional officers in every facility now, and the money's good, this that and the other, but just so you know, unless you don't have any other plans of doing anything else as far is outside of that thing evaluate the situation evaluate yourself before you take the job on everything i'm on the way into management on the outside not locked up on the inside with killers murderers and transgender new video coming up two to three days i hope y'all enjoyed this shit this is a good one i'm how i'm gonna tell you if it's a good one or not y'all let me know if it was a good one but real shit i got another story i got another two or three stories to tell from this sh we're done with this bitch later what is this uh, i know what it is squash 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 the beef. High heat. Mm -hmm. Ooh la la way. <laughs> yeah. Thick. Uh, Eng not Ingles, damn. Win Dixie around there, but they always have good ass wine sales. Look at this shit. Buy one, get one free. It was like $16.99, but you get two of them for the price of one. This shit is so good. It's a red blend. When you want to bust this open? Huh? Immediately. Immediately? Oh! Vlogging. Huh? Give you the answer you're looking for. Unless you want it now. Huh? Well, said immediately just because the camera was up. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is this? Happy Dad. Happy Dad and the. Get the light. And the, and the monolithic. Oh, dang, we're giving out full names. Hey, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? Pull up. What are you mixing with that? Horseradish and butter. And this is what we're going to put on the rolls for the Phillies. Salted butter. Very important that you get salted butter. Lando Lakes is the best. It's falling, <laughs> But whatever you have, as long as it's salted, real butter. Even though it's in a plastic, the plastic. Who cares? One, we should have did it in the silver one. I can put it in there. No, don't. <laughs> These Phillies about to go. Oh yeah, smear that butter. Smear that butter, huh?